they're not like you don't you don't know anything about that. Talk about it. No, not really. Okay. I'm not happy to talk about them. What do you mean? Most Israelis are Palestinian. Like, are you sympathizing more with with Palestine or with Israel? Like, I sympathize with both of them. I guess I sympathize. I'm trying to be like Switzerland right now. Just trying to stay neutral. Okay, so you don't have one side or another. Yeah, just Jewish, American Jewish. Okay, so which side do you support for both sides? What do you mean? Which side do I? I, I mean, free like Palestine. Palestine. I I support Palestine. Okay. Yeah. So the Israelis are probably reacting to something done to them, so they feel like their actions are justified. But thousands, thousands. yes, thousand people. On yes, almost fifteen thousand child. Yes. النهارده تقريبا عدى سنه من الحرب اللي بتحصل في فلسطين والاباده الجماعيه اللي بتحصل في غزه بس هل العالم لسه بيتابع اللي بيحصل ومهتم باللي بيحصل في فلسطين ولا لا؟ ولو بيتابعوا فهم متعاطفين مع مين ويعرفوا ايه؟ ونحاول نفكرهم باللي بيحصل في فلسطين والفلسطينيين ونسالهم انتوا اي جانب بتسلموا؟ هاي جايز هاو ار يو دوينج؟ جود هاو ار يو؟ فاين ثانك يو فيري فروم؟ امريكا ذا ستيتس يس هاو ار يو؟ فاين ثانك يو فيري فروم؟ انجلند جود هاو ار يو؟ فاين ثانك يو <laughs> yeah, good, thank yeah, you. I'm fine, thank you. Where from? We're from Wales, I'm UK. Wales, UK. Um, okay. أكيد كل واحد فينا حلم في يوم من الأيام إنه يسافر حول العالم، يكتشف ثقافات جديدة ويعيش مغامرات مختلفة، لكن دايماً كنت حاسس إن في حاجات مقيدة زي الشغل والالتزامات المادية، النهاردة أنا جايب لك الحل اللي هيخلصك من كل ده ويحقق لك حلمك في السفر لأي مكان تحبه، مع فيلاجيدو المنصة الرائدة في الاستثمار هتقدر تحقق استقلالك المالي وتسافر العالم كله، فيلاجيدو هي منصة تعليمية واستشارات مالية تقدر تسجل وتستثمر من خلالهم وتشتري في أسهم زي تسلا وأمازون ومايكروسوفت وكل الشركات العملاقة اللي بتحقق لك مكاسب باستمرار. في لاجيدو بتقدم لك عرضين هيحطوك على اول الطريق، اول حاجه استشاره مجانيه وخطه استثماريه مخصصه ليك من خبراء المنصه، هتساعدك تستثمر فلوسك بذكاء وتحقق اهدافك الماليه بشكل سليم، تاني حاجه وهو عرض البونص، فبعد التسجيل والشحن مع المنصه هتقدر تستفيد ببونص يصل الى 100%، يعني مثلا لو انت استثمرت ب 1000 دولار فانت هتبتدي على طول ب 2000 دولار، ما تفوتش الفرصه سجل واشحن دلوقتي مع في لاجيدو علشان تلحق العروض وتحقق حلمك بالسفر حول العالم. Do you know it's almost a year now of war in Palestine and genocide in Gaza? Yeah. What do you think about it? I mean, I think it's absolutely heinous. I think that it is so obvious that the Jewish people in Israel are becoming the oppressors and they cannot see what they are doing. Okay. And nobody has the right to colonize other people's land, right? Okay. Um, but right now, it's almost a year of war in Palestine and genocide in Gaza. Mm -hmm. You are watching that still on news or no? On the news? Yeah. Right. Are you still watching that or no? On the news? Yeah. I mean, if you are interested to watch what's happening there or not? Am I interested in watching what's happening? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Watch you don't watch that. And, and do you know what's happening there or not in Palestine? I don't know. I'm not educated enough to know. Really. Okay, anything. Okay, I'm gonna give you some um, fast about what's happening there. Um, in Gaza, uh, till now, almost in, in one year, died almost 50,000 people, were killed by the Israelis, and almost 15,000 child. What do you think about that? Or what's your, I don't know, what's your thoughts about what's, what's happening there? And what do you think? What should be? What should happen there? I mean, in the, in the current situation in Palestine. As I said, not educated Yeah, sorry, mate. We're not like you don't, you don't know anything about that. Talk about it. No, not really. Okay. I don't wanna, yeah, I don't know. Really. Okay, okay. It's up to you, boys. Okay. Have a nice day. Yeah. غريبة إن هم رافضين يعني هم قالوا إن هم ما يعرفوش حاجة عن الموضوع ده بس طبعا أكيد هم عارفين بس هم قالوا إن هم مش حابين يتكلموا ويقولوا رأيهم عن اللي بيحصل في فلسطين يعني هم اكتفوا إن هم لا إحنا مش يعني أنا مش حابة أتكلم عن ده وأقول رأيي عن اللي بيعملوه إسرائيليين في فلسطين يعني فدي حاجة كانت غريبة الصراحة. Do you know it's almost a year now since the war started in Palestine and the genocide in Gaza? Have you ever watched that news or not? And you are still watching that or not? And what do you guys think about that? What do you know about that? Yeah. I know just what is on the news. So. Okay, so do you know how many people were killed in Gaza so far? Yeah. Okay, it's 50,000 people were killed in Gaza, including 15,000 kids. What do you guys think about that? Or which side do you support from both sides? I mean, the Israelis and the Palestinians. Well, I think that like the way it gets framed a lot in in the media makes you very like pro pro Palestine. Like you, it's like you can't you can't look at what the Israelis do and think like that they're in the right. Uh, of course, there's like two sides, and of course, the Israelis are probably reacting to something done to them, so they feel like their actions are justified. But of course, in the end, like 
you can't really explain like why you would kill, you know, it was what? 50,000? 50, 50, yeah, 50,000 so, so, people so and 15,000 children. Yeah, okay, so. so do you think it was just um, from the Israeli side, it's only a reaction of what happened to them? Uh, mm, no, I think it's a No, I mean, like, thing. because this is happening almost 75 years. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, so I can't people? say it's just from one event that caused this. So, uh, do, so do you have a year now? Of war and genocide in Palestine and Gaza. Mm -hmm. Are you still watching that on news or no? Yeah, I read it when it comes on the news, the BBC news, yeah, the notifications. And you are watching from start or just now? Um, I would say from the start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what do you think about it? Um, it is, I, can't, I try to like educate myself about it as much as possible, I guess. Um, okay. Um, but I feel like it's really hard to get yeah. a unbiased. Yeah viewpoint on from social media like different things that you see it's really hard to uh, it's like there's been a lot of things that are like okay but do you, and do you support one side on another there or no I mean your point of view I mean for sure I, what's happening in Gaza is terrible yeah, it is like, yeah. there's it, children dying every day yeah so, so, I think so, it's so, which, so which kind do you support from both sides if I can ask you I, it's not, I, in terms of like obviously people like people dying yeah. on outside is horrible. I think obviously mm -hmm. the government, the like the government has a lot of power okay. and support from like bigger countries like the USA mm -hmm. and the UK and things. And like obviously Palestine doesn't have any of that like governmental support. Okay, but if I ask you, like, are you sympathizing more with with Palestine or with Israel? Which one would you choose and why? Like I sympathize with both of them. I guess I sympathize a, a lot more with the Palestinian people because they don't have like the support and stuff from outside mm -hmm. of. Okay. Like there, um, I think like anyone dying in war is like it's a very sad. Okay. You? Yeah, I would go along similar lines. I think the a lot of stuff at the moment is definitely leaning towards Palestinians and, and supporting and what, how, yeah, yeah. how more institutionalized what's happening with like what Israel is doing to Palestine. Yeah. And you, you are not Israeli, right? Or just Jewish? No, I'm not Israeli. You're just mm. a Jew a Jewish. Yeah, just Jewish, American Jewish. Okay, so which side do you support from both sides? What do you mean which side do I I, I mean, free like Palestine. Palestine. I, I support Palestine. Okay. Yeah. So it's a good as a Jewish you support Palestine. Yes, absolutely. And do you know um, and What's like, exactly happening there? Do you know, for example, how many people have died in Gaza? I don't know the exact statistic up to now, it's, but thousands it's around, of yeah, 50, thousands, 50, yes, thousand people, on yes, almost fifteen thousand child. Yes, and there is so much like, uh, you know, just wrong uh, historical fact coming out of the Israeli press, coming out of the American press in support of yes. Israel. Yes. I mean, I exist in a very Jewish bubble too in Pittsburgh and yeah. all of my people, we are all anti-Zionist, pro-Palestinian Jewish oh, people. That's cool, that's cool. And there is, you know, so much uh, belief that being anti-Zionist is equivalent to being anti-Semitic. And like, my biggest message is that that is not, those are not synonymous, right? Yeah. Um, what, what do you think should happen now in, in Palestine? I mean. So I think it's, I mean, you know, right, like a ceasefire immediately. Okay. And I think that, you know, I would love to say, oh my gosh, let's uh, divide. How can we divide this land? But I think there has been too much hate. There has been too yeah. much harm. Yeah. There's been too much murder. Colonism. Yes, that there is no way that we are ever going to reach a peaceful pact like that. So I don't know what the answer is, but Israel became a state, what, in the 60s? It, it was not their right to take that land yeah. ever. Um, I don't know what the solution is. I know, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just it's disgusting. Like, it's terrible. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. From your side, do you, do you support one side to another or no? Everything that she said. <laughs> okay. They were regurgitated out of my That's mouth. Right. And, and, and how do you think this should end or what you should, what you should do there, so... This well, end, well, I think obviously it should, like, it should end immediately, and they've had opportunities to like have ceasefires and end the war. They don't want to. Um, so you mean the ceasefire would, would help them to, to stop that? Well, yeah, obviously they stopped because a lot of people have yeah. died. And a lot of people have died. Not even just in the last year, but like you know, for the last like, 20, 30 years, it's been going on for so long. But I mean, it's obviously like it's hard because from like. Our point of view is easy to say that, but it's like it's a government and like mm. things like that. Like how, how I don't know, like how we can get them to stop that. And they, they, they the government and things have been given like opportunities to like, like for ceasefires yeah. yeah, yeah, to yeah. like end the war, to like have discussions and things like that. And they, they don't want to do it. Um, 
and I'm sure there's like Israelis also agree with that that they want a ceasefire and stuff. Do you think Israeli want a ceasefire? No, I think there's Israelis. Like I'm not saying yeah. the Israeli yeah, government. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah, there's the people, people in Israel yeah. that also like don't support the war at all. Should you have one side to another that you would like sympathize with or, or just support or you are on I don't know, you support like both sides? I'm trying to be like Switzerland right now. Just trying to stay neutral. Okay, so you don't have one side to another? Mm -hmm. What do you think what should happen now there? So like to stop killing a lot of people, what's, what's happening in the Palestinian side? That's difficult because we come from a country who, yeah, I know. <laughs> who could change it however they wanted. So and I don't support that, but that's why I live here. So. Oh, you live here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we don't really, I don't associate with the very politics. And um, so yeah, what happens there kind of has to be just a whole up, up of kind of a restructuring of government yeah. but from an internal force not from external forces I do have a question what is the um, like thesis of this social experiment that you're doing is there like something that you feel like you were expecting from no. it or and it's actually I'm just collecting people reactions okay. what do you think about it which kind do you support and I try to remind people of what's happening in Palestine لازم كل فترة نحاول نفكر الناس اللي بيحصل في فلسطين لأن الأحداث مستمرة الناس بتتفرج فترة لما بيكون الأحداث موجودة في التلفزيون بعد كده الدنيا بتنام محدش بيفتكر خالص اللي بيحصل في فلسطين واللي بيحصل في غزة فلازم على الأقل يعني كل فترة نعمل فيديو أو أي حد عنده إمكانية إن هو يعرف الناس يا جماعة إن الناس دي لسه تحت الحصار ولسه تحت الضرب ولسه بيحصل فيه إبادة جماعية للفلسطينيين وفي غزة بالذات فكل واحد بيحاول يعمل دوره ويحاول يفرج الناس ويوريهم اللي بيحصل في فلسطين فتحية لإخواتنا في فلسطين وربنا معاهم إن شاء الله